Hello everybody, this is Jessica, and I'm sorry I'm kind of sounding tired, but I'm really tired. My daughter was in the hospital for two days with a seizure. So with that said, um, I'm going to put this card really fast together. I used the Artiste cartridge, and the card I'm talking about, if you saw the prior video, is this card that I am making for Jen Callie, 78, because she was sweet and sent my grandma some beautiful cameos. And so here's the card put together. These are the supplies I use. This is a Martha Stewart punch. Um, this is a close to my heart C1467 stamp set um, and the Artiste cartridge that I got for my birthday. So, and these are some rhinestones that I picked up at Walmart for $1.49. Um, I'll need some foam squares as well. So, here's the card. Let's see how quickly I can put this together. So, all right, so I'll give you a list of my, as I do this, so hopefully I'm still in frame. Okay, that will keep me knowing that I'm in frame here. Okay, so for the inside mat really quick, it's really simple. I'm just taking a piece of paper, cardstock paper that I got a while ago from Costco and this cream cardstock that I picked up at Expedex. And the dimensions for this one is three and a half by four and three fourths and three and three fourths by five inches. So hopefully you saw that. So those were the dimensions for the, the two mats that are gonna go inside. And again, I just want to quickly say that I'm very grateful for all the people I have met in YouTube and for all of you watching. Um, Spy, Spiral Rocks, um, Gloria, I love her to pieces. Her, hers is Spy, Spy Rock, Spiral Rocks 346. Um, Lourdes, which is a good friend of mine, and I introduced her to this craziness, this crazy hobby that can be very expensive but very therapeutic. That's my excuse. Um, because with the lack of sleep from being in the hospital, this is what I'm quickly trying to take a minute to do. So I haven't gotten quite enough sleep yet, but it will come hopefully tonight. My little girl's doing okay today. Um, so there's the inside of the card. And I'll stamp something in there later on and write something. This outside mat, it's just, um, this is just an A2 card size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. This one is just um, slightly an eighth of an inch shorter, smaller, and then again an eighth of an inch smaller than that. So I just have a really thin border. husband just woke up. He's going to be looking for me. He was up all night too. So he's going to be coming down asking me questions. Heads up. He doesn't know I'm filming. Okay, so you see it leaves a thin edge. So then here's the Martha Stewart punch and in these strips I just cut um, three of them. So this one was cut at a quarter of an inch, this one was half an inch, this one was an inch and a quarter. Um, and this one here, I just folded um, to make this and just put some um, red tape. And so this is just scraps. And so I'm not very good at making these vintage cards, but I tried. I made one for my grandma and one for Jen. Okay. And I'm just going to take this. Probably won't work so good. And tape. Oh, 
problem with this tape is once it's down, it is down for good. So, um, these little roses were cut out on page from the Art Philosophy cartridge on page 54 at an, an inch and a quarter. So you just roll it up like this. I usually spray it with some, a little bit of water so that it's easier. But you just keep rolling it and it makes creates this little flower here. Um, <clears throat> that flower is this on page 54. I, I don't know if you guys are picking all this up. 54 and I cut this one out right here at an inch and a quarter. I cut two of them. I'm going to be using two. One here and one here. And I'm hoping you guys have been catch, ca capturing all of this. And the next thing that I'm going to be using in just a minute is, remember this day in the spanner, is from the Artiste cartridge again. It's page 48, and it's this one I cut out in cream, and this one in this little pink, pinkish kind of color. It's the same. Well, actually, it's actually this brownish kind of color. So let's put that. Also, Mel, which is heart 1214, I believe. I've heard of pieces too. Met her on YouTube. Um, there's Teal Blue. Um, there's a couple. There's one, hap one happy crafty chick, which I love her little projects. And so this this cameo, I just stamped it with a close to my heart stamp, and I just used these rhinestones. I put four, to save me some time. I'm just gonna use some scotch tape. show you guys in a second. I just don't want this video to go too long and I'm really super tired. And I need to check up on my little girl too. She's not to be left alone for a little bit. And I'm just gonna glue this straight down. Hoping I'm still in camera here. And then these little ones, let's just use this. I think these little roses cute. Cute and simple to put together. Sorry you guys, I'm not talking too much. Don't do this with sticky fingers. I think we got it all done. So I just need to add some bling and so and then I'll be done, which it will look like this. So I just added three here, three here, two here, and two here. And there's my card for Gen Cal 78 and my grandma. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye.